Hello, beta testers. Enemy spawning under the map? Even after you reload checkpoints? That can't be possible. This is the expansion, after all. Still getting stuck in elevators and forced to quit to the main menu because you can't even reload the checkpoint in an elevator? That can't be happening a full year later. Endless controller vibration forcing you to just turn the function off. Obnoxious screen stupidity to complement the already psychotic demonstrations of poor design. None of this has changed a year after Marvel's Avengers launch. But I understand that there's some sort of clown Olympics going on among defenders, so feel free to comment how you personally haven't experienced any bugs, and therefore it's a non-issue, since it doesn't affect you. <laughs> Jackass. Do you know what it does affect? Sales. And Crystal Dynamics defines the art of deceptive marketing because they understand very well that they needed to hide the length of this two and a half hour Wakanda DLC. Fingers crossed it just works, am I right? That's the host of a live showcase of this expansion, literally crossing his fingers while it doesn't work even in the showcase. Proudly welcoming the jungle surrounding Wakanda as the first and only Marvel location in their game after a year. At launch, the consensus was that the game lacked personality and variety. A year later, in response to this overhyped DLC, a typical consumer might ask, well how long is it? And instead of telling us the length, they give us the full campaign length with all the DLC so far? Okay. The next question, justifiably, is are we still fighting robots? No, 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 says Crystal Dynamics. But when you played a damn thing, it might as well be Boston Dynamics. Hey, baby. Tell me, baby, do you like it like this? Do you like it like this? More like Detroit Dynamics, you know what I mean? I leave this boring, buggy ass game alone to play some actually fun ones, and you deep throating apologists dare imply Marvel's Avengers needs anyone to tear itself down? The clips in this video represent a single day of the expansion being out, and I thank God Almighty daily for granting me the sense enough to allow me, through experiences, to mold rational and logical thought. Hard crashes, progress still glitching back to level 30 when you just reached level 50. The game buckling under its own weight, hosts literally crossing their fingers and hoping it works on a showcase of a year old game. Please God, please just let it work. Now that's kinda funny. Paul Tassie over here implying with decade old black slang that this game needs my help to quote, dunk on it? My nigga listen carefully, Marvel's Avengers is so incredibly talented at dunking on itself that it can float the ball telekinetically into the hoop. It doesn't need anybody's help. Stop Crystal stop, the players cried, that's your own basket. And they'd need to be telekinetic too since the traversal is such a shame in their superhero game. Why papa? Why can't Hulk jump? I asked them for a year. Did you put the black skin on though? Huh? <laughs> when most people think superheroes, you know what they don't think? Slow traversal, puzzles, and platforming. All these things and more are available to you now via the war for the area immediately surrounding Wakanda expansion. Shills have the identical talking points about this. It's the biggest DLC ever. Absolutely huge. Spider-Man thumbnail. Please like and subscribe. Jesus. But the promised and long overdue loot and cosmetic reworks that this game has desperately been needing are nowhere to be found. There's zero replayable modes added in this expansion. Not even villain sectors. Wakanda isn't even a faction that you can grind reputation for. No rewards. A giant claw fight was teased in the trailer. <laughs> the kind of giant fight you'd see in any Marvel game. But in the real fight, he just shrinks back down and you wail on him until he's dead. 
Maybe he'll pop a shield right before he dies. You know, some kind of nuisance just for you. And then, true to form in Kamala Khan the video game after a few short missions, Shuri is now Queen of Wakanda. Shuri is the queen. Do you know why no one is as glamorous as me? Do you know why no one else is as glamorous as me? It is because of my glitter vibranium. Shuri is the queen. This is the way. Black Panther is beautiful, and so is Wakanda, but it took you over a year to drop one Marvel location in a game. For real, it took you over a year to have gear locking in your looter. For real? It took you over a year, and the launch bug still here. I'm sorry it's not working. I'm sorry your allies can't hype this game into relevance. As if how unentertaining these defenders are isn't punishment enough. You're now proud of how many times you've bashed your head against a wall, bro. Well done making any and all feedback toxic, because if for some reason it ain't sunshine, lollipops, and rainbows after a year of the game being, quite simply, broken for people who want to play. I see you PC players, as I see those reviews, and I'm sorry, you know what I mean? But maybe if we're lucky, we'll get another stream where they jump up and say that it's fixed, and it stays broken for months. For those of you fighting infinite health bugs and just giving up after crashes, I'm sorry. I acknowledge you, even if Crystal Dynamics will not. I'm sorry these defenders are in such denial that they attack you as a hater and actively make it take longer for issues to be floated and therefore addressed. They killed this game swiftly and more effectively than Elektra or any assassin could have, and we owe them our thanks for that. Even now, they're incapable of seeing the hyper-specific criteria that they're forced to establish, desperately moving goalposts and ignoring entire aspects of the game in their ridiculous effort to enjoy it. But even assessing this as a mindless, two-hour, scratchy, flippy black ninja game, it doesn't have the luxury of being independent from Marvel's Avengers. And to put it more plainly, if you mix ice cream into shit, it'll still taste like shit. To me, it's absolutely hilarious that Crystal Dynamics suddenly dangling characters that matter like Doctor Strange and Scarlet Witch and Loki via Easter eggs suddenly. They matter now that your future is justifiably in jeopardy, Crystal Dynamics. If you had Stephen Strange and Scarlet Witch instead of Kate, Bishop, and Kamala Khan, you would have fans. Remember WandaVision? If you had accurate comic skins, you would have money. Just like you see everybody preferring the MCU skins to your inspired designs. It's funny how every single nameplate that you have for Black Panther pulls from comics, showcasing a simple, uncomplicated cloth outfit for Black Panther, but you couldn't deliver a single skin that represented that. You gotta overcomplicate everything, huh? You remind us resources are limited as you constantly spend those resources nerfing gear and nerfing XP gains, only then to offer these XP boosters for cash money. $40 game, $14 skins, $12 takedowns, paid battle passes. There are currently three different ways to pay for XP boosters in Marvel's Avengers, and just as the old prophecies of Kyel come to pass, I project this number will only go up. I'm extremely grateful to so effortlessly rustle the jimmies by simply speaking the truth about this game, but just as no other Avengers creator has made better videos articulately explaining exactly what this game needed and what it will never succeed without. I'm delighted to see so many people not even realizing they're making the same points we did a year ago. Beta testers, if you wanted to enjoy this and bugs got in the way, I'm sorry, you deserve better. But the problem with Marvel's Avengers isn't exclusively bugs or glitches, it's not exclusively bad loot or lack of endgame and therefore no replayability. It's not exclusively poor communication or even the phantom community managers that only pop up to talk to trolls or promote the next product. It's the lack of direction, you know? But Shuri is that queen, 
and I consider that stunning and brave. And who knows what they need even before they do. Wakanda, is this how you greet your queen regent? Yeah, grip that staff, yeah. Why stop here? Get Kamala Khan in here. Why is that thing jiggling out of control? You y'all all right? As soon as a woman gets something, she has to make it vibrate. Thank you all for liking. Leave a comment and I'll respond to all of them. I appreciate you, sponsors, patrons. And Anil, a special thanks to you personally. I'll catch y'all in the next one.